So taking my lunch break right now, expect to work, you know, that's what to expect. Expect to work, expect to be breaking down trailers by hand, palletizing them, and then hopping on the forklift and placing that freight into another trailer to be delivered. Expect that, expect to work hard. If you don't wanna work hard, don't come, we don't want you. You know, I come from wild and firefighting for three seasons to going over the road as a flatbed truck driver for a whole year. I did that from August 24th of uh, 2020 to August 25th, 26th of 2021. So then I came here. But amazing experience, upper right hand corner of your screen, check that video out and check out you know what a typical day looks like what you expect also upper right hand corner of your screen i lost my air brakes man upper right hand corner of your screen while i was doing flatbed so you want to check that out as well and but really bro expect to be working midnight shift your first week your second week you're gonna be on that forklift on swing shift so first week midnight second week swing shift 2 p.m and then third week you'll go out driving with a trainer with in a pups pulling pups and then your fourth week you'll be utilizing the load boy which is a forklift and you have to uh take that thing on and off the back of the flatbed and you're basically picking up and dropping off U packs, you know, the little cubes that people use for moving. So it's fun. There's never a dull moment here. I love it. There's always something to do. So if you're not here to work, if you're not here to do some labor, understand you got to pay your dues before you get to really sit up in that, in that driver's seat and kind of coast, you know, where you've got a set bid on driving. You know, maybe you get the 530 a.m. shift. That's what I want. Uh, maybe you get to do low boy all day and get a hell of a lot of overtime every single day. You know, there's the uh, 9 a.m. shift, 11 a.m. shift, 10 a.m. shift, 1 a.m. I mean, there's driving all day, baby. Lots of driving to do, lots of dock work to be had. So I choose to remain a percenter so that I can be available to do both because I love both. Love all the guys that I work with. Shout out to all you boys out there, man. Make sure you guys smash the like. And you, if you haven't already, all of you that new that are watching, make sure you subscribe. My family, thanks you. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. <clears throat> I'm 91 subscribers away. I'm usually averaging about that much a month. So it's very good. My family, thanks you. I thank you for helping me support them. And I love doing this. There's gonna be plenty more content to come. Um, now that I'm home, when I take vacations, you know, I can film that, uh, show you guys a little bit of what me and the family are doing, you know, where we're going, place, new places that we're seeing. I really wish I would have filmed each and every place I went to while I was over the road, but it's all good, man. I was, I was focused on, you know, safety number one and just mainly focused on bringing new drivers uh, to come and see what Flatbed is all about, so make sure you check all those videos out as well there's ones where i'm chaining coils upper right hand corner of your screen and you can actually watch me um securing that freight scary freight sometimes man they're uh suicide style so suicide style is when it sits like this on the trailer and it can roll towards the driver so that's why they call it suicide style anyways you guys mr by the mile you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival Take care, stay safe, all of you truck drivers out there, new and veteran. See you on the road, man.